So we can talk about foreign exchange risk. Foreign exchange risk is a financial risk that exists when a financial transaction is denominated in a currency other than that of a base currency of the company. For example, if an exporter will have a transaction with the Indian exporter will have a transaction with the US person and uh, uh, the currency, the, 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 the denominated currency uh, may be dollar. So the Indian rupee and US dollar. Sometimes the Indian rupee appreciate against the US dollar. Sometimes Indian rupee depreciate against the US dollar. So both uh, conditions in which uh, the, the parties may be benefited or uh, the parties may be disadvantaged. The risk due to these foreign exchange fluctuations are termed as foreign exchange risk. So uh, the foreign exchange risk uh, uh, may happen uh, because the the currency is volatility the currency is uh, having a volatility uh, which is uh, which is very frequent and it's minutes to minutes seconds to second volatility of the currencies some currencies are more volatile than some uh, some other currencies usually this uh, dollar euro yen these uh, these currencies are termed as stable currencies uh, as compared to the uh, this rupee, rupee is uh, much volatile than the uh, dollar and euro. So the currency's volatility is the prime reason for the foreign exchange risk. I can state a simple example on this foreign exchange risk. Suppose you are admitted for an educational program in the US university and the cost of the program is uh, 50,000 US dollars for two years. Okay. So your plan, uh, uh, this expenditure in your local currency, say, so you estimated the cost, total cost of the education in uh, in Indian rupees, and uh, assume that uh, one uh, dollar is equal to 60 rupees that time when you estimated that the before the course you estimated, so that it's around uh, it's the total 30 lakhs. 30 lakhs means um, uh, one dollar is equal to 60 rupees, so 60 into uh, this uh, 50,000 uh, US dollars that means uh, the 30 lakhs is the total estimated cost of the education but what will happen sometimes the, the, the rupee value depreciate sometimes sometimes the rupee value appreciate if the rupee value depreciate that means one US dollar is equal to six, 165 rupees that means the rupee value depreciate that means US dollar appreciate Okay, that means uh, the earlier case it was you know that uh, one dollar is equal to 60 rupees. Now it is treated as one dollar is equal to 65 rupees. That means the, the 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 base currency, the rupee value depreciates. So the currency risk is that you have been exposed to undertaking the expenditure in foreign currency. So your cost of the education may increase because of the uh, because of the dollar appreciation and the rupee depreciation. So uh, the excess amount you have to pay is 2.5 lakhs. The total cost increased to total 30 lakhs plus 2.5 lakhs may uh, may arise uh, because of the uh, uh, because of the uh, depreciation of the rupee and appreciation of the US dollar 65. That means the excess five uh, rupees uh, cost. Uh, when we calculate it's 2.5 lakhs this 5 means 60 5 minus 60 that is equal to 5 5 into 50,000 that means 2.5 lakhs is extra cost of education you have to pay for that so when you when you uh, admitted into the university the US dollar uh, you know uh, 1 dollar is equal to 60 rupees and over a period of time what happened that the rupee value depreciate and the dollar value appreciate so you have to pay an extra cost of 2.5 lakhs because of the volatility or uh, reduction in the value of uh, the base currency okay so now we can uh, uh, we can look uh, these types of foreign exchange risk the foreign exchange risk uh, are categorized into four categories that is economic risk transaction risk translation risk and contingent risk okay so we can uh, look uh, one by one so transaction risk transaction risk means risk of uh, foreign exchange may foreign exchange happens in transactions so every transactions uh, because of the transaction time we may lose uh, money because of the uh, exchange rate risk transaction wise uh, transactions uh, 
the, the volatility of the currency is, uh, is the prime reason for the transaction risk. Suppose an export and an import are made a transaction and the timing due to the timing of the transaction and the settlement, the exchange rate risk may be happened. Okay, so uh, with this uh, transaction risk can be eliminated through hedging. So the, uh, the, the companies or the clients can approach uh, uh, some uh, hedging tools like forward features and options and so apps to reduce the transaction risk. So this, uh, this kind of uh, hedging tools uh, will be available to reduce the transaction risk. Uh, so we will learn all these things in the later, uh, later part of the course. Next is economic risk. Economic risk is due to the economic uh, uh, means errors in the economic uh, projections, economic conditions, etc. This is due to for forecasting risk uh, to the degree that its market value is influenced by unexpected exchange rate fluctuations. So reason may be like uh, uh, there is a um, high position of the competitors. So the firm's uh, future cash flows and ultimately the firm's value may be reduced. So uh, the economic risk, uh, if the economic risk happen, it affect the present value of future cash flows and the earnings of the company will be reduced due to this economic risk. This uh, inflation may be one of the reasons for the economic risk. So many situations economic risk uh, may uh, happen for the uh, loss of uh, or for an exchange risk. So translation risk is another uh, risk. Uh, so translation risk uh, arises uh, due to the financial reporting. Actually, uh, we know different types of integrated uh, reporting and international financial reporting standards uh, for a uniformity uh, across the uh, countries. So we are adopting these international financial reporting standards. So uh, there are uh, multinational companies. You know they have branches across the across the globe. They have branches more than one countries so there is a uniformity in the accounting so uh, they while preparing the accounting and financial statement for reporting purposes uh, this consolidation process for multinational entities translating actually they have to transfer or translating the foreign assets and liabilities or the financial statements of foreign subsidiaries from foreign to domestic currency so they have to change they have to convert the currencies so while the translation risk may not affect the firm's cash flows, it could have significant impact on the firm's reporting earnings and therefore its stock price. This translation takes time and uh, when, when we will translate the foreign uh, uh, currency denomination to the base currency, that means home currency denomination, because of the exchange rate fluctuation, some changes, some errors, uh, some uh, differences may happen. So risk due to, due to this conversion process is known as translation risk. So uh, of course the company, you know, uh, their profit uh, and margins may be reduced because of this translation. Uh, and uh, sometimes uh, the, you know, stock market performance is always depends on the uh, uh, profit, uh, book profit of the company. So this translation causes some uh, reduced profit. This reduced profit may reflect in the stock market. Uh, you know, the, uh, the company's stock prices may be reduced because of the lower profit of the company in the books. Okay, even though the company's financial position uh, doesn't have proper changes, because but if some say, changes happened uh, due to you know. Uh, due to this translation process of uh, means convert to converting this foreign uh, exchange uh, prices of assets and liabilities into the domestic uh, home currency rate. Uh, so it is also uncontrollable by the company. So the contingent risk is also another risk uh, of foreign exchange. Uh, because uh, of uh, contingent uh, bidding in for foreign project negotiations etc uh, such risk uh, arises from the potential of a firm to suddenly face trans transnational or economic foreign exchange risk contingent on the outcome of some contract for example if a firm could be waiting for a project uh, to be accepted by a foreign business if it is accepted it would result in an immediate receivable but the firm is in a waiting period a waiting condition uh, and sometimes the foreign firm may accept a proposal sometimes it may not accept a proposal 
So while waiting, the firm faces a contingent risk from the uncertainty as to whether or not that receivable will happen. So if the receivable will happen or may not happen, it depends on the acceptance of the uh, foreign company. So risk due to this kind of non-acceptance uh, is known as contingent risk. Thank you.